morning, Next Gen. This is Pastor Ken. It is Sunday morning, and I hope you're doing well this morning. We're here at church. It's a beautiful morning outside. My daughter Sadie and I are here. We're hanging out. And we're going to take a moment to look into God's Word. Now, last week we talked about Peter. And Peter, one of the apostles, one of Jesus' 12 disciples, we talked about some of the things that he taught later on in his life. And we're going to go back to that this morning. So if you have your Bibles, open up to the book of 2 Peter chapter 1. 2 Peter chapter 1. Remember, the book of 1 Peter and 2 Peter were letters. They were letters that Peter wrote to the different churches. And what a church would do, it would get this letter from Peter, or there are other letters from Paul or John. They would get this letter, and they would read this letter and learn from this letter, and they would probably write down everything that was in the letter. And then they would send the letter on to other churches so that other churches could learn about God and his word. And so this is the book of 2 Peter chapter 1. Look down with me. It says this in verse 5. For this very reason, make every effort. Okay, it, Peter's going to give us a list of things that he wants us to do. A, a list of things that will help us grow in Christ. And he starts with the words, make every effort. So this is something that he wants us to try really hard to do. Okay, put a lot of work into it. Don't mess around with it. Don't just have fun with it. Make every effort. Do all the work you can for this. Well, make every effort to do what? The next thing he says is to supplement. What? To supplement. I was at a grocery store yesterday and I was in an aisle that said supplements. You know what supplements are? They're like vitamins. You, what a vitamin or a supplement does is you take the medication or the pill, or if you're a little kid, maybe a gummy bear, you eat it, and it adds the vitamins to your body that you need. If there are things, vitamins in your body that you don't have enough of, a supplement fills that up. Okay, It makes up what's lacking. So it says, at, make every effort to supplement your faith. So you got to start with faith. Do you have faith this morning? Probably. Okay, you have faith that the chair you're going to sit in or the couch you're going to sit in isn't going to collapse. You have faith that your parents are probably going to feed you something or faith that there will be food in the cupboard. You have that faith. So start with faith. But Peter isn't talking about just any faith here. He's talking about faith in Jesus Christ. You have to start with a belief in Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So you start there. Make every effort to supplement your faith. So start with the faith in Jesus Christ. What's the first thing you add to it? It says, with virtue. Well, what's virtue? Virtue is good behavior. If you say you love Jesus Christ and you go around slapping people, psh, is that nice? No. Uh, is that going to make them go, oh, I want to know more Christians because that one slapped me. Okay. No. Virtue is good behavior. It's doing what's right. So you start with faith in Jesus Christ, but you don't just stop there. On top of that, you seek to do what's right. I mean, this doesn't just happen either. You have to work at it. Okay? You have to put some effort at doing what's right. Virtue. The next, into virtue, knowledge. Man, you believe in Jesus Christ, you're trying to do what's right, but on top of that, you want to learn more and more about Jesus. That's why we do church. That's why we do these videos. That's why we study the Word of God. Because we don't want just to stop at believing in Jesus. We want to learn more and more about Him. So, faith, virtue, knowledge. It says, into knowledge, self-control. Self-control is the ability to... Whoop, Stop. It's the ability to stop. You're like, oh, I want to slap that person, maybe a brother or sister, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stop. Oh, I want to say that funny thing that's kind of mean, too. I'm going to stop. Add to your knowledge, self-control, the ability to stop yourself from doing something that you know is wrong. And to self-control with steadfastness. Steadfastness is just to keep going, to stay st 
daddy. Okay, sometimes we have good days, sometimes we have bad days, and good days and bad days, and good days and bad days. Man, on good days, maybe we're really kind. On bad days, maybe we're slapping people. Steadfastness is to stay on track. Keep going. Keep doing what God has called you to do. Be steady. And to your steadfastness, godliness. Now, godliness is doing what's right, but it's on another level. See, anyone can do what's right. Okay, people who don't know God, people who aren't Christians, they can still do what's right. But godliness takes it to another level, to be even more gracious, even more kind, even more like God, more like Jesus, more like Christ. And to add to your godliness, brotherly affection. What's that? It's being kind to each other. You know, sometimes brothers and sisters don't get along, and sometimes they get along great. They just, man, they love each other, they have fun with each other, they enjoy each other. That's something that we ought to do as Christians, have a good brotherly affection to each other. And look at the last one. And brotherly affection, verse 7, with love. That's the key, that's the crowning achievement. That's the top, the maraschino cherry, okay, that cherry on top of your sundae or your ice cream. It's that love, 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 love. Let everything you do, the Bible says, be done with love. So start with faith. Add to faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, to knowledge self-control, to self-control steadfastness, steadfastness godliness, godliness brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love. And look what the Bible says. For if these qualities are yours and increasing, they will keep you from being ineffective or unfruitful in the knowledge of Jesus Christ our Lord. If you can do these things, you will bear fruit for God. You, you'll, you'll have things that come out of your life, good things that come out of your life for the cause of Jesus Christ. That's what I want for you. And more than that, that's what Jesus wants for you as we seek to honor him. Let me pray with you this morning. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for loving us. Help us, Lord, to have faith, virtue, knowledge, self-control, steadfastness, godliness, brotherly affection, and love. Help us to live out these things and be fruitful for you in Jesus' name.